trying out the newest palette from Natasha Denona and I'm really in my 2015 2016 era again so we're going to we're going I'm too excited we're going to go in with a full coverage eyeshadow base we're going to grab a really tiny brush and this is such a great tip if you have hooded eyes or small eyes um, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start to stamp it. Notice how I tilted my head back, I'm able to see my crease. And if you're really not sure about it, a tiny brush like this, you can push it in there and you can feel where it's supposed to go. So let's grab a little bit more and I like to work in sections. So I'll stamp, 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 grab some more shadow, stamp, stamp, stamp. Creasing is gonna be completely normal. The eyeshadow base is not set, but what we're wanting to do is bring it over this way. Also, what I don't want you to worry about is any of that transfer completely normal. Let's also go ahead and extend it by stamping. Cut crease is just truly about trusting the process. Now that we have our initial shape, I'm just gonna keep going back over it and really start to darken that line. Now I'm gonna wipe off my brush. I will say that the fibers of the brushes, they don't absorb the product, so I'm just able to wipe it on a towel. Going in with a little bit lighter shade, but notice I grabbed it on the side. That way we can start to transition, start to tap that right on top of the first color. Just take your time. We do wanna keep it pretty close to that first color we laid down because we wanna do a couple transitions. Now I think I might actually come in here and clean this up, I have an idea. So I'm not gonna transition over this way on top of that part. Now let's warm up that top part with this warm shade. This will be pretty to kind of mesh that in there. Again, with the side of the brush, tapping to transition. We're gonna grab an E28 now. I don't have anything on it. I'm just gonna smooth across a couple times. And swiping back and forth, please don't, just don't. It might be a little too rough on all of these delicate shadows. Um, tap back and forth like I'm doing. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that and we're gonna press that on our brow bone. Focus most of it there and then we'll kind of mesh everything together over this way and over this way. And we're almost to the cleanup process. Jelly micellar water. It's your best friend when it comes to something like this. C30 concealer brush, when I say sharp, I mean sharp. I needed something so sharp, so we made it. Now look at this. And this is what I was saying. I think I want this to come out like this. So that's why I wasn't too worried about it. And then we're just gonna wipe it off on Sheila. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. Just keep carving. It really starts to come together now. Now, as long as you let this dry down, you're not gonna have any issues. Now this is completely optional, but we can take a little black eyeshadow and just really darken the bottom part of the line. Remember, the tinier the brush, the more control you have over that eyeshadow. And black, it, it wakes up and it chooses violence. So grab your tiniest brush. That's why I'm using a tiny little angle brush for this. Now we're gonna go back in and carve even a little bit more with our eyeshadow base. Now, I've been doing this a long time. I can do this, yes. But if you are just starting out, it's really nice to kind of push it and then lightly pull it. Push it to where you want it. Pushing up and then lightly pull. Now we're gonna go back in with our C31, just like we did in the very beginning, making sure that's nice and smooth. I wanna do as many shimmers on my lid as possible. We're gonna use the same C30. It's basically your fingertip, but better because it's so precise and the way it applies shimmer. So we're gonna start with that shade. Actually, let's put this one even closer to the inner corner. It's a little bit wider. It has more white pearl to it than that first one we applied. Nice. Next, I grabbed this color. It's a little bit more of a chunky color, so it's gonna to need to be built up. Chunky is not bad, it's the formula. It's a very intense shimmer, almost like a foil. Then we're gonna go into this shade, and this one actually has a little bit of pink sparkles in it. That's gonna go here. We're starting to get a little darker. Going darker, that one's gonna go more towards the outer part. Last but not least, this darkest shade on the outer part. Now we're gonna clean up one more time, and I'm also going to clean up underneath here. Also, another tip is I don't put my eye cream on when I know I'm gonna do an intense look, because I'm just wiping it away. Definitely adding a wing with this look. 
I'm gonna steal a liner, top and bottom waterline. Okay, all beauty. These are the Moonlight Style Lashes, my favorite. And into full coverage. I'm living my 2015-2016 era. I really love this one. This is Estee Lauder Double, Double Wear. I'm too excited. Look at that, and it's gone. What extraction, never happened. So what I was just doing was warming it up on the skin. It's just going to go on so much easier now. And now we're gonna use our C42 to make sure it's nice and melted in. Ooh, color match, it's color matching. I love this foundation. And if you work in sections like this, you're able to build it up and not get any patchiness or separation. What I mean by that is say, I wanna add some more for more coverage, go now. Or it, you don't have to be in a major hurry, but you do want to work a little quicker because now that can just melt right in before it dries down. Now we're going to move to this section, just one side of the forehead. It really makes a difference to work in sections with the long wear foundation. Take the tiniest amount of our foundation. I'm talking almost non-existent on the brush. I'm going to tap it through here. And the reason I want to tap is because I don't want to move anything, but I do want to mesh and melt this base. And then now with whatever's left, I'm just going to lightly take it across here to even melt it further. Yes. Do my Natasha Denona concealer. This one is still my favorite. I'm going to take it all throughout the center to highlight. This is from my collab with Ma Beauty. I want to do a little bit of a pink under eye. This is a cream clay shadow. It's the perfect brightening pink when you use it this way. And we're going to blend it out together. We're going to use our C31 to work that in. And this pink isn't gonna give us that major pink under eye, it's just really gonna do some nice brightening. That's what pink does, it brightens. Look at how smooth this looks, and it's not pink at all. And the reason why is because I chose something a little bit more warm, and you're just gonna get a super bright under eye, not the strawberries and cream under eye, unless you want that. Then you just use pink on pink, but look at how good that looks. M36 bronzer from Mob Beauty, obviously. And then my C40 here is a match made in Makeup Heaven. But just make sure that you're pouncing that bronzer because you're actually gonna get more coverage if you're pouncing like this. I'm gonna do a little bit of shaping, a little bit more contour. This is a cool tone, so we're definitely gonna use this. This shade is my perfect shadow. It's called Precious Latte. It's from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna push a little bit into my brow as well is a major tip so I'm going to take a little bit of a very tacky base this one from milk is next level grabby I wear contacts so I don't want things fluffing around so that really grippy base is just going to ensure that it's absolutely grabbing everything and I'm not fluffing it into my eye I added a little bit more black gel liner just in the lashes I want to extend my inner corner here this brush is the key turn to the side so easy also, very 2015, very 2016, peachy blush. Been into it lately. Sephora Cream Lip Stain, shade 98. Mario Lip Liner, the shade is Jeff. This is the same thing we use under our eyes. It's actually lip safe too, just in the center. Top it with this. And here's the look that we ended up with. It's a lot of information in this tutorial. Make sure you save it. And if you made it to the end, I appreciate you so much. I'll do more tutorials like this.